the concept good and evil has a twofold prehistory. Firstly, in the soul of the ruling tribes and castes. He who has the power to requite good with good, evil with evil, and also actually practices requital, is, that is to say, grateful and revengeful, is called good. He who is powerless and cannot requite counts as bad. As a good man, one belongs to the good, a community which has a sense of belonging together because all the individuals in it are combined with one another through the capacity for requital. As a bad man, one belongs to the bad, to a swarm of subject, powerless people who have no sense of belonging together. The good are a caste, the bad a mass, like grains of sand. Good and bad is for a long time the same thing as noble and base, master and slave. On the other hand, one does not regard the enemy as evil he can requite. In Homer, the Trojan and the Greek are both good. It is not he who does us harm, but he who is contemptible, who counts as bad. In the community of the good, goodness is inherited. It is impossible that a bad man could grow up out of such good soil. If, however, one of the good should do something unworthy of the good, one looks for excuses. One ascribes the guilt to a god, for example, by saying he struck the good man with madness and rendered him blind. Then, in the soul of the subjected, the powerless, here every other man, whether he be noble or base, counts as inimical, ruthless, cruel, cunning, ready to take advantage. Evil is the characterizing expression for man, indeed for every living being one supposes to exist, for God, for example. Human, divine, mean the same thing as diabolical, evil. Signs of goodness, benevolence, sympathy, are received fearfully as a trick, a prelude with a dreadful termination, a means of confusing and outwitting, in short, as refined wickedness. When this disposition exists in the individual, a community can hardly arise, at best the most rudimentary form of community, so that wherever this conception of good and evil reigns, the downfall of such individuals, of their tribes and races, is near. Our present morality has grown up in the soil of the ruling tribes and castes. 